Hi, I am Raymond Camden, a developer evangelist for the Adobe Document Services team. And today I want to share with you some quick tips for working with the Adobe PDF Embed API. Now, for the most part, this is a super simple API to work with. It's a great way uh, to incorporate PDFs into your website. But I wanted to share a few quick tips for things that I've seen trip people up uh, from time to time in the hopes of saving you from uh, making the same mistake that myself and others have made. So let's start off by talking about a real kind of simple mistake to make, one that I've seen more than one person make. If you look at our documentation and our sample code, you know, we have this nice 25 line code block here showing you an example of using the Embed API. And very clearly in here, we have some code that says your client ID. The idea being that you will need to get your credentials and then paste in your ID and replace that value. What I have seen time and time again is that people will take this little block of text here and they will replace it with their new key and they'll leave the opening and closing bracket in there. So that's pretty simple to fix. Uh, just kind of make sure that you replace the whole thing and put in your ID there. Uh, I am tempted to go in and just change our documentation uh, to get rid of these characters. Uh, but again, it's a simple mistake. I've seen people do it. Just make sure that you don't do that yourself. Now that leads to my second tip, uh, talking about keys and credentials. Uh, do not forget that your keys are bound to a particular domain. When you make new credentials, you can only specify one domain and you can't edit that domain. Now that's okay because if you like mess up, you can erase the credentials and create new ones. But there's a couple things you want to keep in mind to help you with your testing. So first off, uh, your local environment or local host is not automatically whitelisted. So if you want to test on local hosts, you need to create credentials for local hosts. Now, what you can do is create a credential for your local environment and create one for production. And then uh, in your build scripts or whatever, uh, check the local environment and use the right key and the right location. That's one way of doing it. Another way to do it, I'm going to show you the key for uh, my personal blog. Notice that the domain is RaymondCamden.com. There's no dub 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 in front. Okay. Because of that, I can do dub 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 dot RaymondCamden.com or beta dot RaymondCamden.com, anything in front of this kind of host domain. So another option is that you can use your local host file and set it up so that dev.yourdomain.com points to 127.0.01 or localhost. Um, use that and then use www in production and then use the same key uh, for both of those environments, even though it's pointing to a different server. Uh, you can do that or use two keys, you know, whatever kind of makes sense for you. So the last thing I want to talk about is an issue that people run into and involves cross-origin resource sharing. This is a pretty complex topic. Uh, I am showing on here the MDN web docs for this, and I'll include a link to this in the video description. But basically, it boils down to, is the JavaScript on my web page allowed to access a resource on a different domain? And a lot of times people will use PDF embed and they'll point to a PDF on a different domain. Now, I would probably not do that. I would use PDFs within my own website, but you can if those PDFs have a course setup that says, hey, I'm allowed to be loaded by anything out there. So by default, you won't be able to access those PDFs unless they have that particular setting on. And I see people uh, try to use it in PDF embed and that they'll get an error uh, saying that the request has been denied. So if you don't know 
if the particular PDF you want to use uh, is going to be course protected. First off, you can't just paste it into your browser because your browser being able to access it is different than JavaScript running in your domain uh, trying to access that. Now, you have to either write some code and just test it, or you can use tools like test-cores.org. It allows you to paste in a URL and it'll do uh, various network hits again against it and uh, to, to see if it will load. I'm gonna take the PDF that we use for our online demo. I'll drop that in there and do a send request. And we see we get a status of 200. Now I found a random PDF on whitehouse.gov and when I test this one, and again, if I open this in my browser, it'll work just fine. But if I test it here, I'm going to get a status of zero and you know an um, error event. So it's something to keep in mind. You know, this website's a really easy way to test it. Um, if the other site is someone that you work with, then you can potentially reach out to them and say, hey, I'm trying to use your PDFs. Uh, on my site, can you add the appropriate course headers to make that work for me? So anyway, uh, just some quick tips. I hope that they help and please reach out if you have any questions. Thank you.